Hello friends, welcome to the 35 episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode, we have learned how to use different layout file in a single view. In this episode, we will see how to use multiple view in your component and how to add your view in the manifest file. So let's start. So we will create two view. One is uh, downloads view, another is subscribe view okay so let's start so as per uh, our knowledge we have to create a views folder but uh, already views folder exist in our component so we don't need to create so now for downloads view we will create downloads inside the downloads we have to create file view.html.php let's copy paste so that we can do first let's remove all these things downloads we have to change the view class name that is downloads we have done now we have to create the layout file so let's create a folder tmpl and inside tmpl default layout default.php here we will mention that echo welcome to download view page ok now we have created our downloads view now we will create subscribe view so remove this one remove close all the files now we can copy this folder like downloads and paste here or we can create so new folder let's copy paste it will be fast so administrator components com underscore open chat open chat yes here now inside views we can see our view so let's copy this folder and paste change this to subscribe subscribe now we have to change the class name we can do from the sublime text so subscribe c u b s c r i b e subscribe so now subscribe and in the template file we will modify welcome to subscribe subscribe view page ok so let's check in the backend it's working or not so let's log in the administrator panel so now we will mention that view equal to downloads so as you can see welcome to the download phase view so it's working subscribe subscribe welcome to subscribe so in our single component that is com underscore open chat we are able to create multiple view in this way you can create lots and lots of views and in the previous tutorial I have shown in each view you can create multiple layout file so there is a tons of possibility for displaying different different page ok so now I have created this view but if I create this package with my component and give it to my friend he will install he will not get this view file so I need to include this file in the manifest file so whenever someone will install my component the view will be also copied so let's go to the view section and we have created the views only in the back end so let's open the manifest file so in the back end we have to mention the file name so in the file name we can mention like views slash downloads slash view dot html dot php and then also write template so that takes a lot of time so instead of this the best solution is specify the views folder so folder views 
so it will copy all your views so that's the simplest thing so whenever you are modifying your component modify your manifest file otherwise when you will create the package for distribution you will forget so that's why when you are creating new view don't need to specify here because we have mentioned the views folder so it will copy all the views okay so that was the small tips and uh, in the uh, in the next tutorial we will see that how to pass variable from view.html.php to layout page okay so thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any comments or feedback please write comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day